Hi there. Welcome to another two minute mindfulness. Today I am bringing you distractions. I had debated whether or not to even try to record outside today um, because there's uh, some yard work being done um, on one side of my house and there's some power tools being used on the other side of my house and there's cars just keep driving by and it's really loud. Um, and I thought maybe this was not the best opportunity to try to record meditation videos. But then I thought, why not use this as a way to strengthen our practice? And so we're going to talk a little bit today about different techniques that you can utilize if you're really struggling with distractions. And I feel like this is particularly important right now um, with a lot of people still home because of COVID. You might not have the silence or privacy in your house that you've been accustomed to or if you went to a meditation center or practiced as part of your yoga or some other um, out of your house opportunity. Maybe that doesn't exist right now for you. Um, so a couple things that you can do if you're dealing with a lot of distractions, whether they be internal or external, um, obviously step number one is always going to be awareness to the breath. And sometimes I think people just take that as like be aware of the fact that you're breathing and that is part of it. But I think also really um, embracing the sensation. So can you feel the air touching the tip of your nose? Can you feel it in the nostril? Can you feel it exhaling, um, you know, the exhalation? Do you feel the warmth? Um, notice the difference in the air quality. When you breathe in, it's usually a little bit cool. When you breathe out, it's a little bit warmer and, and humid. Sometimes that's not gonna be enough, and there's times for me where awareness to the breath is not enough when I'm dealing with um, significant distractions. Um, sometimes what I'll do is bring awareness to the bottoms of my feet. Um, and so just really trying to feel the sensations um, of a body part and whatever one works best for you. Like I said, for me, it's the bottoms of my feet, sometimes also my thumbs, um, but just really trying to feel that part of your body. Not just being mindfully aware of, oh, I have thumbs, but can you feel your thumbs? Can you feel them from the inside? Can you feel any sensation, any tingling, any energy moving through that body part? Finally, um, something external that you can um, focus on. So this is a mala bracelet. So sometimes just using the beads um, and counting the beads or saying mantra with the beads um, or just you know touching a bead for the inhale, the exhale, and then moving to the next bead for the inhale, the exhale. And that can often be a helpful way to just use concentration um, as a tool against distractions. So if it's really loud where you are today, but you're still trying to establish a practice, maybe these tools will help you. Good luck. See you next time.